I've said it before, and I'm going to put this out here. Christoph Porzingis and Kyle Kuzma are not leaving the Washington Wizards. Kuzma came out and said how much he loves it. He loves the fact that he can be in Michigan within less than three hours to see his family. All right, he could be in Miami less than three hours. He can go to Europe and be there within less than five hours. It's not even that. DC is a top 15 place to live. All right, no other team is going to give Christoph Porzingis the marketing and the branding that the Wizards do. That they're going to say Bradley Beal, Christoph Porzingis, and Kyle Kuzma are our big three. Those are our three franchise cornerstone. No other team are going to make those guys franchise cornerstone. Nobody's going to give them the opportunities to have the touches to be able to play at an all-star level. Every other team is going to see them as complementary pieces. For individual success, this is the best location for those players. They're going to get paid the most if they stay in Washington. They're going to be able to, you know, have bobblehead nights, which no other team is going to really do for those guys on other teams. They're going to be branded and, you know, used in, in advertisements as when you think of the Wizards, you think of Kuzma, Beal, and Porzingis. No other team is going to let you do that. And for me, with more and more time passes, the more and more stuff that Porzingis comes out and says he loves playing with Kuzma and Beal. Kuzma comes out and says how much he loves the area he lives, how much, you know, it, it, it's a good feeling to be here. And look at this. Bradley Beal for years said, I want to be somewhere where I'm wanted. And it's nice to be wanted. And that's, that's what Washington provides. It's nice to be wanted. And I think that's something that people don't realize is that that's a big factor for NBA players is wanting to be wanted. All right? Because a lot of NBA players end up not being able to you know feel like they're being wanted and in the sense that it's they're always on the move and if the, you can give them the stability that hey for the next five years this you guys are who we're building around i'm not surprised if they say all right we're here for it and i know dinwiddie came out and talked crap on the team the other day and I understand why. I mean, his, his tenure there was not ideal. But this is a team that, look, I really, really enjoy what they've been able to do. And I think we have the pieces. I love Denny Avdia. And everyone's saying that, oh, he was supposed to be the next Luka. He was never supposed to be the next Luka. We all knew he was, was going to be a good player. But you have to understand. And I really like this team. I think when you look at this team with Kyle Kuzma and Christoph Porzingis, I mean, Christoph Porzingis arguably having the best season of his career. Christoph's right now, last time I checked the stats, all right? And he's a guy who's showing his worth, showing that, you know, they might not need to max him out, but Christoph averaging 23 points on almost 50% from the field, 49 to be exact, 37 and a half from three. And... And again, like this is a guy who's a good, good basketball player in Porzingis, having a career year, basically in every stat except for blocks and rebounds, assists, being a dog. All right. And I just can't fathom why you would want to trade a guy like that. And what are your guys' thoughts? Am I just stupid for thinking this? I just think you look at this situation and I personally would not trade or even like sign and trade or let Kuzma or Porzingis walk. And I don't think they're going to walk because they're guys that they realize the situation and how fortunate they are with what they've been, you know, granted. And I think they know that they're extremely lucky. So for me, I don't see this being a team Oh, what do you guys think? I'm excited too, because I wanted I want to hear your opinions down below. I think they're gonna stay. If they were gonna leave, they would have left already, in my opinion. And look, Kuzma, he was traded to the Lakers in 2021, and Kuzma's this like 6'10 versatile defensively and has scoring ability. He can play both small forward and power forward, scoring inside and outside the arc, and he can create himself and while you got the seven foot three porzingis who can stretch the floor he's showing passing ability is this you can unique combination of size passing shooting and defensive prowess and you know 
Kuzma is a guy who is a com is more than a complimentary complimentary player, and Por Porzingis is, you know, be is being used as a starting center for this team, and even power forward when Daniel Gafford's out there, providing spacing and shot blocking ability and passing ability to you know, the team, and ultimately I think they're, they're, they're gonna want to stay here.